in today's session we are going to touch upon stereophonic fm transmit and receiver fm stereo transmitter is a very interesting topic and this relates to the quadrature amplitude modulation or qam for am counterpart so we have a left channel audio which is ml of t and a right channel audio m or of t now we add them together then it will become ml of t plus m or of t note that the audio for the left channel is a low frequency content similarly for the right is a low frequency content so if you add them together this will still be a low frequency content so we add them and the spectrum for this would be simply spectrum of ml plus m or 0 to 15 kilohertz which is the audible range for human receptors that is ears next we generate an oscillator which is operating at 38 kilohertz we divide it by 2 by means of a frequency div uh, divider circuit this can be achieved by means of pll discussed previously so from 38 we would have 19 kilohertz so this 19 kilohertz is considered as a reference or a pilot tone so if you add this with the, in the summation block in spectrum it would appear over here this is our pilot tone next we plug a left channel audio that is ml of t and add it to a submission whereas we take the right audio channel m or of t and also feed it to a summer with a negative polarity now this will become ml of t minus m or of t at the output of summation furthermore we extract the carrier at 38 kilohertz and use a uh, modulator that is a multiplier so this signal is fed to a multiplier which is also fed with uh, a pilot at 38 kilohertz so you would have two sidebands over here which would be symmetric at 38 kilohertz and they are represented over here so the composite signal mb of t or in spectrum mb of f is then passed through an fm transmitter and transmitted over the air so on the receiver side again we have this spectrum so what we do is we receive the signal s of t at the fm receiver and the output of fm receiver would correspond to the original spectrum that i have shown previously so if we have an audio which is mono and not stereo so the first part of the spectrum that corresponds to uh, the addition of left and right channels is sufficient so we would pass it through a low pass filter and we'll get ml of t plus m r of t and then this is fed to a speaker now consider that we have an audio device which is stereo enabled for that we would also consider this part of the spectrum so this is represented over here so initially what we do is we imply a band pass filter which is centered at 38 kilohertz over here and it is passing the spectrum from 23 to 53 kilohertz expressed over here at the same time we would track the carrier frequency that is 38 kilohertz by means of a phase lock loop so we will feed this signal to a pll which includes a multiplier or a phase detector that is followed by a low pass filter a voltage control oscillator and the output of a voltage control oscillator is divided by a frequency divider circuit by 2 which is then fed to the phase detector note that the pilot is at 19 kilohertz so this pll will be tracking 19 kilohertz so over here you would have 19 kilohertz and hence over here you would have 38 kilohertz so this 38 kilohertz is fed to the multiplier also is this part of the signal so eventually whole of this spectrum would be shifted because of this multiplier from 38 to uh, baseband at zero so you would have simply m l of t minus m r of t at this output after using low pass filter 
so we have ml of t plus m r of t in the upper branch and ml of t minus m r of t in the lower branch so if you add them so m r of t and m r of t would be cancelled so you would be left with ml of t plus ml of t that is 2 ml of t similarly if you subtract this from the upper branch so ml of t would cancel with ml of t you would have m r of t and minus minus m r of t so you would have 2 m r of t which is expressed over here so you would have two signals that is the left audio and the right audio appearing uh, at the terminal end of the receiver that is your speaker in the simulink environment i have exported a stereophonic audio file which i am going to play next so in short we have touched upon several areas including the concept of stereophonic fm transmit and receiver the following material is useful in the further understanding of the concepts presented